guys, welcome back to a new one. Well, today I got to do some groceries in a couple hours, and I'm hungry right now, so I thought I'd share with you what I have in my fridge left that has a little bit of an Asian kick. It's a little Asian-y. Don't take that too personal. <laughs> I'm not trying to be racist. I love you guys. We're all the same. We're all humans in one way or another. Anyway, this is what I have left in my fridge. It's got a little bit of an Asian vibe to it. I think we're going that way. Hopefully it turns out. Anyway, take a look at this. <laughs> Regular ground beef. Nope. All right. These things. They're udon noodles. Next thing we're going to put is some soy sauce and some oyster sauce and of course we need some garlic and some pure sesame oil. Next up in that one we're going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. I have a little bit of sushi bento rice seasoning. And from here you can basically see we've got some cornstarch that I'm going to put in. And I also ended up grabbing myself here a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. Because who doesn't love Frank's Red Hot? We're going to start here with a little bit of ground beef. I got the really cheap stuff from Walmart. But ground beef is ground beef is ground beef. Even though not all ground beef is the same. And here we go. I put it a little fast forward just to show you what's going on. It was frozen, so we started chopping it up here on a medium-high heat. The heat was medium-high, I say, and I was chopping it up nicely, getting it browned up on one side. I was having a lot of trouble with these bigger pieces because, you know, I don't have patience sometimes. But as you can see, we're just chopping it up here. And after that, we're going to start adding some other ingredients that you might like to put in there. And again, you can put in anything you want. This is just like what they call in Quebec a giblet, or just a throw-it-together meal. Um, what I ended up calling this was kind of a hamburger helper, Asian-style hamburger helper. So again, here I'm just breaking up these pieces of ground beef. Look at the steam coming off of that. Mm, steamy. I'm just going to let that cook down. I like playing with my meat. And I'm often told I should stop playing with my meat, but, you know, playing with my meat helps relieve tension sometimes. Although, most of the time it doesn't. So, again, once that cooks down, we're going to put a little bit of uh, salt and pepper in there. And then, what after that... We're going to uh, add some other stuff to it that you're going to see coming up here shortly. Again, playing with my meat. Now we're going to add a bit of uh, soy sauce. I turned down the heat right there. We're going to add a bit of soy sauce. Chick, 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 chick. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Mm, I like soy sauce. Although too much is a little salty. We're also going to put a little bit of oyster sauce, and that really, really gives it that Asian flair. Like you get when you go to Asian, uh, when you go to a Chinese food place, or if you go get uh, uh, Vietnamese, there's always some type of uh, uh, oyster sauce. And again, I love my garlic. I buy them in the big barrels like that, even though it's better to buy fresh and have it fresh. In this case, I didn't really have it. I added a bit of that vinegar seasoning, the vinegar rice seasoning, just to uh, bring down the, bring up that acidity on it. And of course. Mm, I love myself every time. A little bit of sesame powder. People always say make this slurry chad, make this slurry chad. It's better to do the slurry before you put it in. You know what? I don't care what you people think. I'm going to do my slurry my way. And of course, because I don't do it the way people say, I end up having to come in here in a little bit with a whisk. I'm going to end up having to come in here in a couple of minutes with a whisk and get those big clumps taken away and taken care of. So... You're right, I'm wrong when it comes to that. You should always make a slurry mix beforehand. As you see there, I have it being whisked now because I didn't listen to people. And I decided to, of course, uh, whisk it instead and putting it in properly. There we go with the udon noodles, which we put in last because those udon noodles come pre-packed and are already three quarters cooked. So basically what we do here is we're just going to mix it up. Mixity, mixity, mixity. 
and we're going to let that cook down a little bit as I tidy up my workstation, which I normally don't ever do. But in this case, I guess, you know what I said? I said, let's just clean up the workstation here. Oh, oh, and I was just checked it out. And you know what? Taste profile at that point was pretty good. And I mix some more and I mix some more and then I tap and I mix and I stand there and I wait and I mix some more. Mixy, 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 makes it better. Ladies and gentlemen, please bear with what is wrong with my brain as I bring you somewhat edible food at zero prices because this is just a video that you're watching here on YouTube. And again, that's pretty much the finished meal. You could add things to that veg. You could add anything you want. You know what would be really good at that? If you added a handful of spinach at the end, which I didn't have, so I couldn't do. But if I did have it, I would have put it in. I added just a little chunk of butter because, you know, everything's better with butter, or so they say. We're just going to stir that in and let it sit. And that is what I call my budget Asian friendly hamburger helper. Uh, it ended up turning up pretty good, and I would make it again, but I would make it with more vegetables. I put corn, I put peas, I put spinach in it, I put anything in it. You know, uh, I'm really, really a, f a fan of heart of palm or like um, uh, water chestnuts. Um, and those types of things. You, put a, you could have anything you want in those types of, uh, in this type of meal. It's the world is your oyster. Ooh, oysters, like oysters themselves. But I guess it wouldn't work with the hamburger. Put oysters in there instead of hamburger, that would work. Anyway, this is the finished product. I like myself some buttered bread, just like a, with an old spaghetti. And you have that there on the side. But this is what it ended up looking like. I put a little bit of uh, garlic and uh, oregano on top, just to make it look a little prettier than what it did there at the finish. But this is the final product, and it turned out really, really good. So I suggest you try something along these lines, and maybe it'll work out for you and your family. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. See you on the next one.